Hey everybody, Michael Snyder, California Weather Watch. Today is March 3rd and right now we are taking a look at the infrared satellite imagery and we're going to put this into motion here and check out yesterday because we had some strong thunderstorms moving across the region. You can see these showers moving through as we went through the early morning hours yesterday. Some heavier amounts there and some lightning strikes across some of the Sierra Nevada. Put this into motion and look at some of these storms start to develop here as we went through the day. First, it was kind of southeast of Sacramento here. Let's see if we can find it. There we go. Oh, look at all that lightning with that storm there. And then some of this moved down, some of the San Joaquin Valley, some of the foothills. Look at all that lightning going off with some of these cells. Some heavier rain mixed in there as it moved down towards the transverse range. Now we have active thunderstorms here, here, and here down towards the transverse range. Maybe to Hatchapi, you were here in thunder yesterday. And then some of that lightning started to move across some of the transverse range here and down towards the peninsula range as well. You can see some of the lightning strikes associated with that. So yeah, very active weather day. And this one came plowing down the San Joaquin Valley here as well. So let me know if you heard any of that thunder out there. I'm sure some of you did. It looks like maybe a couple showers tried to move into some of Los Angeles County there as well. Let me know if you heard any thunder with that activity also. Then you can see it pushing down across some of the Peninsula Range here and then still with the foothills some showers going on. But as we go through this morning, you notice the showers are going to be on the wane as we go through the day today. Taking a look at the next system though out here, it is gearing up and this will be moving in as well. And I've got some interesting stuff to show you with the models on that. And we're going to remain active through the mid portion of March as well multiple systems, some of them potentially impactful for much of the state of California. And just a heads up here. So I created a new channel, Worldwide Weather Watch, just going over basically the entire world, picking out the most fun stuff across the world. I'll try to keep the video, uh, those videos a bit on the shorter side here and just kind of do some educational stuff. We'll be checking out place to place and see where, you know, any major hurricanes or cyclones or typhoons are or what areas are going through major cold snaps or heat waves, just all kinds of fun stuff. So I'll leave that link in the description below. If you want to click on that and subscribe, it would be much appreciated. Now, back to the forecast here. Here is the visible satellite imagery. I wanted to show you. You can see some of the higher elevation snowfall. Look at Mount Shasta right there. Looks like the Bay Area mostly clear of that marine layer. There looks like there may be some low clouds out there moving around, but not too bad, relatively speaking. And if you want a nice, affordable home weather station, click on the link down below to save 10% off. So Los Angeles National Weather Service still talking about the rain, mountain snow that's going to be coming in here. There's still some high surf advisories, still some winter weather advisories, uh, high wind warning at actually just off to the southeast to Hatchapi. We got wind advisors across the higher terrain as well. And we have many more storm systems here to come. You're going to want to watch this. So midweek rain forecast. Check it out. This is Sacramento National Weather Service. Watch out isolated thunderstorm potential here as we go through this upcoming week. Snow levels 4,500, 5,500 feet falling to 35, 4,500 feet by Thursday. So again, March 4th through March 6th coming up here. And I would not put that as none. There's probably going to be some moderate, minor and moderate impacts out there as well. And take a look at this. Phoenix and El Centro, California. Look at 2025. So uh, we had, I think this is for Phoenix here on the left. This was uh, the warmest uh, February, tied for 1991. And I think this is uh, Yuma, Arizona here on the right, 64.4. So one of the warmest. So a pretty warm February we just went through. This is Las Vegas, quite warm as well. A little bit below normal precipitation and 81 degrees. Look at that on February 25th, 38 on February 12th. So now San Diego, now. National Weather Service has a high surf advisories up, still some wind advisories and this uh, winter uh, weather advisory right there. If I click on that, this goes through noon today. That should be wrapping up and some gusty winds out there also. So this is the system moving through. And then we've got the next system rolling up here. Kind of a late developing system, but this is showing some interesting precipitation amounts in some of the high resolution models. I'll show you a little bit more on that here in a moment. And we're also going to go over that storm in some more detail uh, on tomorrow's forecast. This would be rolling in Tuesday night and the big impacts started to happen on the day, Wednesday into Thursday. So then look at as we go on in through a Sunday coming up this weekend, another pretty potent system there, another potent system there as we go through next week. And we scroll off into the future, trough hangs around, we get a bit of ridging there, but then some additional systems potentially as we go through the extended forecast. Now, closer look at things here. This is hot off the presses, the 12 the European model. Again, wrapping up the showers today. Precipitation starts again as we go through tomorrow morning, Northern California, maybe a little bit of light rain for the Bay Area. Then this system here, 
here is where the models are starting to um, diverge because like the North American model, I'm gonna show you a bit here in a moment, has much more moisture associated with this low pressure system developing here versus the European. Does show some amounts across Southern California, a decent snowmaker for the Sierra Nevada, but not as much as what the, some of the other models are showing. Then you can kind of see that cool showery weather as we go on in through Friday. Next system up, probably arriving, looks like Sunday, late morning. <clears throat> early afternoon you can see that pretty potent frontal system swooping through the bay area sacramento san joaquin valley the entire state of california would be impacted by that powerful frontal system all the way down through san diego a nice very good snowmaker here for the higher terrain another frontal system hot on its heels as well look at this dynamic storm that is kind of slow moving as well that would be flooding concerns no doubt and that would affect the entire state as well and another system after that and then yes another another one towards the very end of the run. So fun stuff there on the 12Z European. That's what dreams are made of if you like stormy weather across Cal uh, the entire state of California. And also kind of pointing this out as we go through Wednesday, you can see thunderstorm potential for some portions of the state. We go through Thursday right there. Again, thunderstorm potential. And then we scroll off in towards this weekend. Let's see what that next system shows up. Yeah, we do destabilize things. Yeah, we're going to be dealing with some uh, active weather if this 12Z European is on to anything. This is way off into fantasy land there. Uh, total precipitation in inches. So again, it doesn't even show that much with the initial system right there. But uh, I'll show you the high resolution model here in a moment. Uh, but pretty good amounts across some of the higher terrain with that initial one. And then the fun stuff starts to roll through as we go through the extended forecast. Again, system after system, just painting the entire state you know, red, orange, brown, purple, you name it. We got it here across the state of California. Only the very desert, far southeast desert areas don't pick up a lot of precipitation with uh, these systems. 24-hour uh, running total. Let's see, take a look at the next system there. Nice shot of snowfall for the Sierra Nevada. Even some across Peninsular and the transverse range with that. And that's com coming this week. We scroll off towards this weekend. We get the next system rolling in here Monday morning. Look at that nice swath of snowfall again. Transverse range range get to several inches out of that one and then another system as well as we go through the extended so man yeah we can we can hope and dream that this 12z european is on to something because you can see it's just throwing haymakers at the state of california and also you as you can imagine i'll just scroll through here quickly uh, depending on the timing of these systems there's going to be some nice wave action there along the coastal areas so you got to watch out for some beach erosion and whatnot and you know sneaker waves and all kinds of stuff the typical hazards on some of the coastal areas and this is looking at the highs for today. You can see that, you know, the high, the max only is at 76. We did cool things down quite a bit, even across the desert areas into the low 60s for the valleys. In some of the Southern California, you're dealing with some mid and upper 60s, maybe up towards 70 degrees. We go through Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, you see us cool back down as some additional systems try to move through there. So kind of back and forth through this active month of March. Here's the six to 10 day. You can clearly see the Climate Prediction Center has picked up on this activity below normal and look at that glorious 8 to 14 day including all of southern california above normal as we go through march 16th look at that below normal signal as well with system after system rolling through the region so yeah anyway check out the worldwide weather watch if you like let me know what you think your input means everything it's going to be a big uh, determining factor on whether or not i stick with that that channel for long I, I won't let it affect my california or pacific northwest weather watch it'll be something i might not do uh, probably not every day as well but i will be checking out fun stuff we'll do educational stuff around the planet but again your input means a lot so go ahead and leave it in the comments down below if you would and i'll put that description or, or the link to the channel down there as well and i'll probably leave a box here that's probably showing up right about now but anyway click like and subscribe we'll do this all again tomorrow and i will talk to you guys then